lost a bunch of experienced veterans from last year to this year. Are you surprised that this defense is a top five defense so far? No, not at all. Because um have great leadership still. And like I said, in the offseason, you got a lot of hungry guys that came here ready to prove themselves. So I'm not surprised at all. We still have a long season to go. We have, I believe, nine more games. And so we're not going to look at how well we did until after the season. But what has surprised you about the way the defense has played, if, any, if at all? Nothing at all. How about Jaron Reed playing right now? JR, he's doing really well, man. He's probably like um, probably the best three technique I've had in my whole career. He's just really a student of the game. He really took his level, raised his um, IQ level in, when it comes to football to a, high, to a high level. Good versus the pass. You see him getting after the quarterback. And he's just a run stuffer, man. So I love playing behind him. I always told Coach Hurt, make sure that J. Reed's a three technique because I love playing behind him. So he's doing really good this season. You announced last week you're planning to donate the, the money for the Wells in Kenya. Just How'd you kind of pick to do that? Yeah, so with the whole, with the Kenya thing, I went there this off season, had an amazing time. I highly suggest that each and every one of you guys go to Africa. How many, how many of you guys been to Africa? Raise your hand. One, two. It's an amazing place, so I suggest that you all visit. I loved it. And when I was there, I noticed this young girl had dirty brown water. And so I just wanted to just help this community. The young ladies have to walk many miles twice a day just to bring back water. And when they do get the water, it's not even clean. And so millions of people suffer from easy access to it. And I just want to just bless this community that blessed me. So this year I'm donating $300 for every tackle. And I just want to make this a community effort. I want everyone to feel a part of it. I want everybody to feel involved because um, I think it's a really good thing to just help people that's in need. And so it's something I'm doing, I'm going back next year. Now is it just for this particular community yeah. in Kenya? Yes, it's in the Masamara and it's at the school that I went to visit. And so yeah, I'm just going there. I want to get two built. I want to get two built, and so that my target is fifty thousand dollars. Hopefully, we can all reach that goal and just all do it together. A lot of tackles in there. Exactly. <laughs> How many is one well take? It's around twenty, around twenty k, and um, so I want to just get that, just get fifty to stay on the safe side, and so to get a well built in this community would take a lot of stress off of a lot of people, and so they could just go there, get get water that you can drink, that you could clean clothes with, that you can. Um, bathe in and so it'll be a beautiful thing once you do get it done. How many people can adequately be served by one one well? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The whole town? I, I, it should be able to do the whole town and when you put two in the community it can def definitely help out as well and so it'll be really big once you get it there. Did you know that you were going to be doing that when you went there in the no, first? No, I just went I just went to Africa just to have a good time. I wanted to experience it. I wanted to take a safari. I wanted to go to the ocean and this is something that just sparked and once I saw it, it just touched my heart. And me and the guys talked about it when we was out there. It was like, man, they got to do something for this community. And when we was out there, we had like a little fireplace dinner. And at the end of the dinner, they all gave us like Swahili names. And so my name was Satubu. And that's the one they give soap. That's what it means. And so I don't know if they give everybody these names, but I really took that to heart, the one that gives hope. And I kind of feel like that's been my whole purpose my entire life was help people, help people reach their full potential, and just to give back because, you know, life is bigger than us. It's, it's bigger than KJ, and when I can leave this world a better place, I've done my job, and so we got to make that happen. Were there teammates with you on the trip? Mm -hmm. who, who else? Maxwell, Byron Maxwell, Malcolm Smith, Mike Moe. Is that it? That was it. Yeah, those, those three. And, and apart from the struggle you saw, what was, I guess, what about the culture there yeah. really impacted you, and is something you Man, it's just, it's just good people, good people, good food. And um, they don't have much, but they're so happy. They're just so happy. And, and I look at myself, I get mad when the Wi-Fi is not working on the plane and these people are suffering from water. And so it just really put life into perspective to show you what's real and how blessed we are, you know, how some people are, are less fortunate than us. So it was a good experience. As far as uh, football, you are now, I think you and Doug, are now the longest tenured players on this team, of guys on the roster. Right. Have you thought about that at all? No, I didn't know that. I mean, yeah, we, we've seen the test of time, I guess. And so it feels good to, to play this long, to be a part of one organization. Hopefully we can, um, I can stay in this organization until I retire. And so, yeah, it feels good, man. Me and Doug have been doing it for a while. Great, great leaders been balling since we've been here. So it's been fun. Russell's talked a few times about feeling some parallels between this season and like 2012 just because of the lower expectations maybe that you guys had. Do you, do you 
you sense any of that at all? Or? We didn't have those low expectations. Yeah, but I think he needs more from like from medium. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Um, yeah, it's it's cool. It's cool when you have those expectations, and it's a beautiful thing when you just defeat those odds because a lot of guys been beating odds their whole career. A lot of guys been told that they can't do something. I was told that I can go to a college and play. I had coaches tell me that, and so I've been I've been fighting my whole life, and so. We just got to just finish. We got a long season, and we just got to finish strong. What is it like playing without knowing what's going to happen? Next? I mean, not having a contract for next year. What is that like? It's fun. It's just fun because it's still football, and I'm just out there having fun, doing what I love to do, and no worries on my end. Do the people in that community, the African Americans, do they know anything about the NFL? One girl knew who Russell was. She she knew who Russell and Sierra was, and th yeah, they're, they're pretty aware out there. They speak English and Swahili, and you know they have internet and stuff, so somehow they know who Russell and Sierra are. But um, yeah, they, they're pretty aware. And we just had conversations with the kid. A lot of people want to visit New York City. Uh, we had conversations like, where y'all want to visit? Hey, everybody said New York, and so they have dreams, aspirations. When we went there, we all broke up into classes and just talk to the kids, and a lot of them want to be doctors, lawyers. And so it was just a beautiful thing, just talking to those kids and just seeing what their dreams were. So is Kenya the only place you went? Or did you Kenya go and there? Tanzania okay. and Dubai. Okay. Why did you, you pick those places? Because uh, it had everything that we wanted. Because I was looking at all of Africa, and I didn't want to go to South Africa because I feel like too many people go there. It's a little too cliche. And so I just wanted to go somewhere that not too many people go to, get everything all in one trip, and that was just the perfect place. Did you do a safari? I did. Oh my goodness, that, that's the safari was hands down one of the one of the best things. Just being out there in the jungle, the lions are untamed, and so you just feel so vulnerable because we just rode up on a pride of lions, and um, it's not like the zoo where you could just knock on the window and they won't do anything to you. These things easily jump into your your jeep because it's open. It's an open jeep, and so we saw buffalo. We saw the big five. Lions, rhino, leopard. Somebody help me out. Giraffe? Elephant, not not the giraffe. Hippo. It's not the hippo. It's the um, other big one. Rhino. It was all the rhino. So it's all the big five and just had a good time. We good? Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.